Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV, and welcome back to another Kendomic Food Review just for you. I am in the wonderful city of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, at Poutineville, because when people found out I was coming to Montreal, they said, you gotta go to Poutineville. And when I got here, I asked the lady, what would be a really good thing to do? And she said they're Poutineville House Special, and it's hand crushed potatoes, fresh cheese curds, and you only get amazing cheese curds from Quebec, so you know that's a win. And mozzarella, braised beef, and red wine sauce. You can also build your own poutine from scratch. They've got the English side, they've got the French side, uh, they've got, I don't know how many specialty poutines you can just pick for if you don't want to build your own. Uh, and apparently, and they've got this thing here, the largest poutine in town, and it is 15 pounds. And it's called the Heart Attack. It's a hundred dollars. So if any of you crazy people out there want to do uh, a challenge, that would definitely be the biggest challenge probably around these parts. So I'm gonna just put this there so that doesn't blow away. Uh, I also ordered a Pilsner. She recommended a couple other beers, but the Pilsner sounded like the best one for me. Let's do a, a close-up. Let's hope that camera focuses for you. Check that out. Scratch it. Sniff it. The rest is mine. All right. So we got our knives and forks right here. This is definitely going to be a couple napkin meal, I would imagine. But uh, yeah, it's a really hot day. And the pills is going down real nice. All right, so I've never had french fries like this or hand crushed potatoes. I don't even know what this is. Hand crushed potato, that's what it said, right? Hand crushed potatoes. This looks like um, home fries. Interesting. Let's see if we can get one of the cheese curds separated. Cheese curd, fresh, from Quebec. This is the first place I've ever been where they put cheese curds and mozzarella shredded all on top of that. Let's get into this braised beef. Whoa. Looks like pulled pork. Oh, poutine Mmm. Pretty good braised beef. I'm liking it. My first choice on the menu was the Montrealer and fresh crispy home fries, smoked meat, mushrooms, melted Swiss cheese, and a breaded dill pickle. The dill pickle part kind of threw me off. But I'm glad I didn't get that because it doesn't look like they put cheese curds on there. So I think this was the better bet. If you want to do a traditional, well not necessarily traditional cheese uh, poutine. Let's see if we can get a bit of everything in this bite. Sorry guys, we're sitting outside and it is crazy noisy with all this traffic. So I hope you guys can hear me fine. It's pretty good when you mix it together. I wouldn't want just a plate of this, but when you mix that, with, yeah, it was a red wine sauce. So, the red wine sauce is actually bringing, bringing everything together. I never thought I'd be eating a poutine with red wine sauce. And when she first told me about it, I wasn't too sure, but it is tasting pretty good. And again, having home fries instead of regular fries, Interesting turn of events. I'm trying to figure them out. It's just like Look at the size of this potato. That is one I think it's gonna fall off. That is one potato. It's like a big huge potato wedge. That's a quarter of a potato. Chopped, chopped, chopped. Hmm. I should have caught it.
potatoes really hold their heat, eh? Wow! I'm gonna go back in for a huge clump. Check that out, people. Can you just, can you smell that? That smells awesome, doesn't it? Mmm. So as a lot of you guys know, I'm in Montreal with my wife for celebrating our 24th wedding anniversary. I said, while we're there, I'm also doing a couple videos. She said, that's pretty cool. So she ordered a burger, but didn't read the fine print. I mean, it came with a double patty, so I only can eat half of it. <laughs> and it comes, these come in uh, regular size and large. Don't do large unless you're like super hungry or want to share it with somebody. Because she said their large is really big. This is fine. This is like, that's a meal and a half for a human being. A single human being. I'm loving this. I like to have done half the meat, personally. Just my personal preference. I'm trying to spread it around so every fork bite, every fork full, is getting some of that braised beef, some of the potatoes, some of everything. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? To all the people who follow my social media like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, but especially the Instagrammers who jumped on the opportunity when I put up a picture of Montreal and said, where should I go for dinner or where should I go for lunch? And make a video for you guys. To all the people out there who said, come to uh, Poutineville, this special one o'clock in the morning shout out bite goes, shout out bite goes out to you guys. All right, this one's for you guys. Cheers. Mm. Thank you. As you guys know, I'm always starving, so I'm gonna polish the rest of this off, and I'll be right back. Hang on. scale I'm going to give Poutineville for their specialty poutine. I'm going to give it a would recommend because I'm sure there's other poutines on there that would be a go out and get it now. But as it stands right now this poutine with the wine sauce which I've never had on a poutine before that was an awesome choice. I totally recommend that. I give that a go out and get it now. Next time you have a poutine here do maybe a traditional poutine and just have the red wine sauce. Apparently, uh, the lady here, she offered the fact that she'll give us samples of things before we actually order it. Because she wants to make sure that you're gonna like it before you order something like this and then not like any of it. So that's one of the cool things about uh, Poutine Bill. All right, guys, if you love my videos and you don't wanna miss the next one, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. But if you wanna show your support for me, coming to Montreal to eat food like this just for you. Give it a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time in another Ken Domic food review. Ken Domic out. Boop. And then there's a car alarm. Oh, Nelly. Too much, dude. Too much. You married me. I knew I was going to be doing this for the rest of my life. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.